Hey guys, this is Vinay and welcome back to the third video of the C++ programming in Linux video series. In the last video, we have installed the G++, C++ compiler, and now we'll focus on using the G++. What have we done last time? We have tested our G++, just type in G++ and enter, it gives no input files. Okay, let's provide the provide some input file to this particular compiler. Now what is the input file? Input file uh, that the G++ is expecting is the source file. Source files, source files are nothing but the message, but a message to be conveyed to the machine in C++ language. C++ language. I want to pro convey my message and these source files contains, includes uh, the message that I want to convey to the G plus to the machine to my machine right great now um, the C plus plus source file should have the extension uh, dot C say um, I want to make my first program first dot C PP CPP C plus plus it should have some extension like that that it should have CC just C, it won't work. We need CPP, or we can write first dot CC. It will it will work. And in this way, we write the C plus plus program. Okay, no problem. We we'll create a uh, file, a source file that G plus plus expecting. Okay, let's create it up. Uh, what do we need to do with that? Uh, we can use the command touch, and we want to create a winner. Uh, no, 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 it's our first program. We will go with the first. First dot cc. Press enter. Uh, now let's check out ls hyphen l for the long listing. Listing. Ls is the listing, and we want a long list. First dot cc. Press enter. Okay. The file is present. What is the data inside it? We can check it out using the concatenate command. Cat use cat and first.cc press enter it contains nothing now it's enough for providing the input to the G++ now we are going to provide G++ and it needs a source for the source file okay take the source file have fun oh my god it's giving us the error again what kind of error it's the undefined reference to the main now the G++ compiler expecting the source file to contain the main function getting it it's the main function what is main function it's a, it's not written function but i know that it needs a main function in function a start so whenever any g++ compiler look into the c++ source file and wanted to create an executable file a machine a file that contain the machine language it needs it look for the main function inside the source file and there's as there's no data inside the first.cc there's no main function now what is main function main is just a function and functions are the building blocks of the C++ language now let's understand it ultimately we are creating a program that may take some input, that may produce some output, right? And the functions does the same thing. It takes some input, maybe not. It gives out some output, maybe not. It depends. So let's look out the model of the function. How does it work? Okay. For this, we need to open uh, it in some editor uh, to define. So I will open the first.cc in the gedit. Gedit is like the notepad in Windows environment. Okay, just type gedit first.cc and press enter. Okay, this is the gedit interface. You can see the title bar. Okay, now I'll explain you about the voice function. The function, the body of the function is like that. Uh, we need to write what would be the output the name of the function and uh, we used to write within the parentheses 
the input to the function and the curly braces opening brace and the cur opening brace and the curly brace and within these two curly braces we write the text what we want to do in this function you can see the do and this are colored it's just specifying that these are the keywords that are you that are the part of the C++ language for example we use the uh, the in English if if G++ uh, understand English then it would highlight uh, made it red color the the word but it understand do word it understand this word that is so because it it knows C++ so it's highlighting these two words uh, okay so this is the uh, model this is the color this this is the model of the function it keeps what is what would be the output of the C plus of this particular function it keeps the name of the function it keeps uh, within the parentheses input to the function and within the curly braces what is now as uh, our last compilation that got failed <laughs> with some error it, it was expecting a main function okay now and in the output field we are providing the int you can see it's highlighted it's green in color means it's some keyword of the C++ language we will discuss it later int is for integer we are expecting an integer output but we are not going to provide any in this particular code so don't worry about it now what would be the name of the function obviously it's main and what would be the out, uh, what would be the input to this function we don't want to provide any input to this function so that this field would be would remain empty now what I need I need the curly brace on I need the curly brace off now what I want to do inside this function I don't want to do anything inside this function now you can see this is the particular model uh, okay we don't need it if it was just to explain you delete it out okay then save this here's the button save it out it's now saved close the G edit now let's watch it out. What is inside? Use the cat again. First dot C, press enter. It's saying the main. It's just the main definition inside this function. Okay. Compile it. G plus plus. First dot CC. Press enter. No errors this time. Congratulations. You can see that we have compiled and G plus plus understood the C plus plus language and got to understand the out input what is the whatever you want to say you want to say nothing that's the truth I know that you know that okay so whatever he read it converts our language to the machine level language and place this particular output that is in the machine language form to the file a dot out we don't believe me let's list out and check it yourself you can see that there's a file a dot out what does it do it's just an executable file if you want to see inside this you can't because it's the machine level language content we can't see it go out but we can execute it for executing the executable file go with dot slash a dot out and press enter since it's our first program and it doesn't take any input it doesn't do give any output and that is why it uh, we are done with a program that do really nothing so so we have uh, created a first program and compiled it and got the machine level output in the a dot out file and this is done for this particular video series so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe